Do you want to quickly deploy a serverless web application on AWS? Hi, I'm Stuart, and let me show you how Amazon Q Developer can help you do it using AWS CDK. Let's start with the presentation layer. A key consideration here is how to efficiently and securely serve static assets like images, CSS, and JavaScript files. The best practice is to use an Amazon S3 bucket as the origin and then front it with Amazon CloudFront for global content delivery. To set this up, we can ask Amazon Q Developer to create a CDK stack with Python that creates an S3 bucket for CloudFront S3 static assets and ensure it's secured by origin access control. This CDK code provisions the S3 bucket with necessary security controls, like disabling public access and setting up an origin control. To grant CloudFront secure access to the bucket, now we will add the CloudTrail login to this S3 bucket for better auditing and monitoring of our static content. So next, we'll set up an application layer using Amazon AWS Lambda and the Amazon API Gateway. This will allow us to serve dynamic content and API requests from our web application. We'll ask Amazon Q Developer to create a CDK stack that creates an AWS Lambda function that is invoked by Amazon API Gateway. This CDK code provisions the necessary AWS resources, which include the Lambda function and API Gateway endpoint. All of this powers the serverless backend of our applications. Now, for the data layer, we'll use Amazon DB to store all of our application data. Amazon DB is a fully managed NoSQL database service that provides fast and predictable performance with seamless scalability. So here, let's ask Amazon Q Developer to create a CDK stack with DynamoDB table with 100 read capacity units and 100 write capacity units. This CDK code sets up the DynamoDB table for the appropriate performance characteristics to meet all of the needs of our application. Now, as we know, monitoring is crucial, and it's crucial for the health and reliability of our serverless applications. So here, we'll use Amazon CloudWatch to track key metrics and set up alerts. To do this, we'll just ask Amazon Q Developer to create a CDK stack of a CloudWatch event rule to stop web instances from EC2 instances every day at 3 p.m. on UTC time. What this does is, the CDK code sets up a CloudWatch event rule to automatically stop any server instances outside business hours. This helps us by reducing costs. Now, finally, we'll create a CI-CD pipeline to automate the deployment of our entire serverless application infrastructure. Again, to do this, we'll ask Amazon Q Developer, using Python, create a CDK pipeline that deploys a three-tier serverless application. This CDK pipeline code sets up a fully automated deployment process, ensuring consistency and reliability as we iterate on our application. So as we've seen, Amazon Q Developer can significantly accelerate the deployment of serverless applications on AWS using CDK. Give this a try and experience the boost in your productivity.